Now you will see how to transfer money from Binance Web3 wallet to Binance Exchange step by step. I will also give you a solution for common challenges that you may be facing when trying to transfer funds. But first, I want to give you a quick word of warning. There are a lot of scams related to crypto wallets including Binance Wallet. Those scammers often claim that you have won funds with Binance Wallet and you just need to send them a small withdrawal fee or something similar. However, when you send them the fee, they will typically ask for more as long as you keep on sending them. They may call it a withdrawal fee, a tax fee, transfer fee or something else. The important thing is that you do not need to send money to anyone. Don't trust people who try to help to recover your funds or anything similar because if you have Binance Wallet, you should have 100% access to your funds yourself without any middlemen. So you don't need to send anybody money here, right? The first step when you want to transfer funds from wallet to exchange is to find a button that says send, transfer or withdrawal or something similar. When I recorded my previous video about Binance Wallet, it was showing the transfer button. And some of you said in the comments, I have not transfer category, why? The reason is that Binance has updated the wallet and nowadays they have named that button as send, you can see here on the screen. The name of this button may change also in the future, but the idea stays the same. It may be called transfer, send withdraw or something similar but the idea is that you are transferring or sending or withdrawing money away from this wallet right the second thing you must know is to look for that button on the right tab you can see here on the bottom there is home markets trade discover and assets and now some of you said in the comments in my wallet i don't have to send receive or transfer I have scan, rewards, history and earn. That person was obviously here on the homepage and he was looking for scan, rewards, history and earn according to his comment. However, you simply need to click here for assets and you can see here now it says send. That person didn't know how to click here but now you know. Keep in mind that in the future they may change the name of these tabs here on the bottom as they keep on updating and upgrading the app but the idea again stays the same. Find the tab on the bottom where you can access your funds and click send, transfer, withdraw or similar. The third thing you want to know is that when you want to transfer funds from your crypto wallet to an exchange or another wallet, you will need to have enough gas fees for the transfer in your wallet. Keep in mind that you need to have these gas fees when you want to transfer from wallet to exchange but also to another wallet. And the same fee applies not only with Binance wallet but also with Metamask, Trust wallet or any crypto wallet you are using. Some of you said in the comments, hello bro, I have gas fee in my Binance Web3 wallet but Binance say your gas fee is insufficient, please tell me your solution. And the solution is simple. The fees will be deducted from the amount you send. You don't need to send fees to someone else. You already need to have them here in your wallet. And now the gas fee will depend on the chain or network that you are using. For example, if I want to withdraw this USDT using Binance chain, I need to have some BNB in my wallet. Now if I want to withdraw USDT using Ethereum chain, I need to have some ETH in my wallet. And the same of course with other chains. If you want to transfer USDT using Polygon or Matic chain, you need to have some POL in your wallet to cover those gas fees. So now it depends on the chain or network that you are using. Let me show this to you in practice. I will withdraw some USDT and BNB to show you the process. I click here send 
and then I choose what currency I want to withdraw. I will choose USDT right here and you notice here next to this USDT there is a small icon that shows BNB or Binance Smart Chain. It means that I need to have some BNB for this gas fees. If it would have an icon of Ethereum it would mean that I would need to have some ETH for the gas fee. So let me click this one right here. And here you need to copy paste your address from your Binance exchange or any other wallet wherever you want to transfer the money. Here it says for me Binance deposit address. I click that one right here. It has copy pasted the address here on this box and then I click here continue. I choose the amount that I want to send. I can click here max. I click here continue. And here it will show the gas fee and in this case it's called network fee. And here it says sponsored by BNB chain. Typically I would need to pay you can see here a couple of cents. But now it's free because there seems to be some promotion or campaign by BNB chain. So they are covering the fee for me. Typically you need to pay it yourself unless they have some free campaign as they have right now when I'm recording this video. Then I click here confirm. I verify my fingerprint. You can see sending was succeeded and you can see I have successfully transferred the money from this wallet. It's not shown here anymore. I will also transfer some BNB to demonstrate the process one more time and then I will show you on my Binance exchange app that the money is there. First I click here send again to transfer the funds. I click here BNB. I click again Binance deposit address. I click here continue. I click here max. I click here continue. Here it shows the details and here it shows also the estimated network fee. So I need to pay it this time. It's a little bit over one cent at the recording this video, but it may be higher, same or lower by the time you are watching. So it fluctuates according to market situations. So I click here confirm. I verify my fingerprint. It says transaction submitted. It says sending has been succeeded. And you can see I have transferred BNB and USDT away from my Binance Web3 wallet. Let me click here for home and exchange to see if the funds have arrived. You can see here the USDT has already arrived. BNB is processing. While I'm waiting for BNB, let me convert this USDT into BTC because I prefer to hold BTC rather than other coins. I click here buy BTC order created and I have converted USDT into BTC. I go back to assets. I refresh the page and it says processing. So I will wait for a couple of moments and then we will come back. A few moments later. Now I refresh the page again and it says complete. I click here for BNB. It says spot. So I click here for BNB BTC. I click here sell and I will sell BNB for BTC to receive more Bitcoin. It says order created and it was done. Now do you want to learn how to use the Binance app? For example automated trading bots and even copy trading, spot margin and futures trading, also the earn feature and much much more. I have prepared for you more than 200 step-by-step -step Binance tutorials on my YouTube playlist and you will access all of my tutorials by taking one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and you will learn how to use Binance step by step.